Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another vlog. Now, I know in my previous videos, I've been telling you guys about making banana bread. I did make it, so you guys will see in this vlog, I'm just doing the intro before I actually show you guys the footage. So, I didn't really get to like actually vlog myself too much, just one or two clips here and there. But this morning, Dean and I made bacon and eggs and pancakes, so I'll show you those clips. But before you see that, last night we made wontons, so I'm going to show you that clip. However, I don't know why my wontons doesn't come on Cripsy. I don't know. I really don't know. What is the reason, like how do you guys get your want wontons to be like actual Cripsy? Like, Mine just be kind of crispy, but not like when you buy it from like China restaurants and stuff. So, but nevertheless, it was delicious. We didn't have any ground minced chicken or pork. Take two chicken breasts and like put it in a food processor and mince that, and we use that as a food. And so yeah, it was really delicious. So I'll show you guys those clips now. So as you can see, Dean is just uh, cutting up the chicken and we're just cutting it in cubes so we can put it into the food processor and mince it. So once it's in the food processor, you just pulse it for about five times and then it'll be good. You just season it up and add it to your wontons. So I don't really know the proper way to wrap the wontons. I just do it like how I usually do and I'm using an egg wash mixture to just basically stick down the ends so i'm just wrapping it like how i usually do again this might be totally wrong but it worked for me so that's all that matters well that's all that matters to me <laughs> As you guys can see, Dean Wanton look absolutely like professional and that's his one so he's gonna show you guys how he does that. Um, yeah, his one looks a lot better than mine as well. So this is him doing whatever he's doing. I'm not watching back this footage. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So he's doing it a bit different from me, but I guess that is why. Oh, okay. I see you, Dean. I see you. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So we're back to today. So that was last night, and this morning we made some bacon and eggs and pancakes and then your girl made bust up short roti as well as banana bread so i'm gonna show you guys all of that right now so the vlog is a bit here and there because i was recording while doing all of this so yeah also this was my first time making bust up short roti and it was absolutely delicious well actually let me rephrase it i know how to make bust up short but this is my first time following a recipe from cooking with natasha and it was absolutely delicious and the banana bread i'll put the link down below to the recipe that i follow which was on pinterest so yeah but everything was delicious the roti tastes really good i had roti as well as curry common fowl and yeah it was delicious i am full so i'm gonna edit this so this video will go up a little bit later it's but. sunday sunday head to church on sunday so guys, this was the pancake batter that we bought in my grocery haul. You just add water to it and if you want, you can make waffle with this mixture as well. You just add an egg. So yeah, and it has all the instructions on it on how much water to add, how much oil, how much egg, all of that. So the pancakes turned out pretty amazing. This was me flipping it, trying to see if it was cooked or if it wasn't cooked. Wasn't sure. Don't know. So yeah. Plus, I'm not really a, a huge fan of pancakes, so yeah. <laughs> I love my brown. But anyways, from me, Bentley, you know that I'm on it. This bear will need to step up his game. Eat it. overly ripe but it is still good as you can see I had three more but it was rotten so I just threw it away
guys, I'm gonna continue to mash up this. I don't want it to be too lumpy and I don't want when I mix it to get lumps when I'm eating. So I'm gonna mix it up really well and then I'll show you guys the next step. In the meanwhile, I'm going to get my spices. This is what I'm adding, some, some nice chocolate chips. I'm going to add some sunflower seeds, some natural almonds. Just chop it up, some pumpkin seeds. I have one egg, some baking soda, nutmeg, cinnamon, as well as vanilla essence. I'm going to add all that to this and one and a half cup of flour. And I'll show you guys the whole mixture when it is. To the bananas, I'm going to add a third cup of melted butter. And I'm going to mix this and then add in my spices, which is nutmeg as well as cinnamon. And I'll show you guys that next step. So to the butter, I'm going to add one beaten egg as well as a teaspoon of vanilla. This mix. I'm really gonna eyeball the vanilla here. Oh, right, and I'm gonna mix this. So you have to do it one hand and record. I'm gonna mix this and then add in my baking soda and spices as well as flour. Alright, so to the melted butter, the eggs, and the banana, I added some nutmeg, baking powder, cinnamon, baking soda, as well as salt. All the ingredients and measurements will be down in the description box below. So I'm going to mix this in and add in my flour and then add in the rest of the toppings. That's all. Alright, right. One and a half cup of So after the flour is incorporated into the wet mixture, we just went ahead and added in all of our toppings. We use almond, pumpkin seeds, as well as um, sunflower seeds and chocolate chips. So you can use whatever you want, whatever topping that you like, but I personally like that combination. So we just went ahead and added in all of the seeds, give it a good mix. You don't want to over mix it and then pour it out in a loaf pan tray or whatever type of tray you want honestly doesn't really matter <laughs> so i mean maybe it does but i just pour it in whatever tray i have and yeah look how delicious this look it was absolutely delicious and then we're going to transfer it into our baking sheet and put it in the oven for 350 degrees for 50 minutes the original recipe said 60 minutes but mine's came out like about two minutes before 15 minutes so yeah and this is what this was the idea to top the top of the banana bread with more chocolate chips as well as pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds and almonds and it was a good idea because it looks really delicious when it came out so yeah and that was it it was super easy super super easy and it was absolutely delicious and this is a very healthy snack by the way so guys this was the banana bread after it baked for 47 minutes all the information on the whole recipe will be in the description box down below so don't forget to go and check it out as well as that's my bus up shot roti it be looking bomb <laughs> so anyways guys i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video hope you guys enjoy your sunday and have a safe week ahead bye